Hey fam, so with Mother's Day around the corner, just thought I'd do a very simple, easy Italian bread that is the perfect addition to a wonderful breakfast for the moms in your life. So here I have some olive oil. I also have here some dry uh, rosemary and some dry thyme as well as some uh, white pepper and I also have here some garlic. We are going to start off by adding the oil to a pot on low heat and then I am going to go in with the uh, seasoning or the herbs and the pepper, black pepper can be used as well. Once I would have added the ingredients, you want to give it a really good mix. And what we're going to do, we're going to allow it to saute uh, for roughly between 5 and 10 minutes. All right, so you want to keep an eye on your pot. So I'm just starting it all together and then leave it. So after about roughly 5 minutes, this is what it looks like. And as you can see it's done we are not trying to burn the garlic but rather to help the flavor to come through so once that is done just remove it from the heat allow it to cool next I'm moving on to making like a starter dough so here I have some warm water and then I'm just going to follow it up with some yeast and sugar also honey can be used as well once that has been added give that a really good mix and then well not a really good mix just a quick mix <laughs> and then allow it to uh, sit for roughly five minutes or five minutes or about and once that is done I will come back to show you the next step after five minutes this is what our yeast is looking like next I'm just going to go in with some of that flour and I'm also going to add in some of that wonderful olive oil infused with the herbs and I'm just going to add in a couple of tablespoons or so and what we are going to do next is simply mix it until it's nice and moist about four to five times or a little more depending on uh, how it looks in terms of all the flour being blended into the yeast mixture so I will do that and uh, we will allow it to rest for another five minutes or so and then I'll come back to show you the next step After about five minutes, this is what the uh, batter is looking like. It's slightly thickened and uh, it's what we wanted. It's rested. Next, what we are going to do is to add in the remainder of the flour as well as some salt to help bring flavor to the, uh, the, the dough. All right. So I am here just using a, a spoon still to mix that in. And then next, I'm going to transition to my hands and continue to knead. Now, this is a soft dough, so don't panic if you realize it's a bit on the sticky side. So let's go. Here is the dough, and as I said, it is a sticky dough. Next, what we are going to do is to place it onto a floured countertop and knead it about for 10 minutes or so until it has formed into a smooth dough and once that is done I will come back to show you the next step here is the dough and it's done it's all nice and smooth and as I said you want to knead it for roughly 10 minutes well actually 10 minutes that gives you that nice perfect uh, dough so next what i'm going to do i'm going to place it into a lightly greased bowl and allow it to raise for roughly an hour or until it has double in size so here it is it has double in size and i am going to now punch it on the middle and next so what we are going to do is to transfer it to a baking dish so here is the baking dish and what i did is to use some of the very same uh, herb infused oil and just pour a little bit to the bottom of the dish and just simply spread it across until it's uh, nicely coated in that uh, wonderful smelling oil. Now that the baking dish is done, I am next placing the dough into it and I am going to use my hands, the tip of my hands, and to simply spread it across until it's evenly distributed 
throughout the bowl as you can see here next to what we are going to do we are going to use our knuckles and we are going to create some impressions on the dough now you can always look up a focaccia bread there are many different designs to be a focaccia bread but this is one of the simplest ones so I'm just simply using my hands and my knuckles that is and just punching it like that to create some nice little holes in there and next once it's done we are going to move on to some toppings now focaccia bread is focaccia bread it's not a pizza or anything so you want to remember that when you are doing it so here I am just going to pour in some of that herb infused oil uh, all over the focaccia bread and that helps with the softness or the moistness of the bread as well as flavoring it too so as I was saying previously uh, we are going to add some toppings and I'm keeping it extremely simple so I'm just adding in a little bit of cheese and I am also be, will be adding in some onion red onion uh, purple onion can be used as well and I have here some turkey bacon so these are what I will be adding uh, to the focaccia bread Now that it's done, as you can see here, it's not a lot. As I said, it's not a pizza, <laughs> so we're keeping it very simple. Next, we are going to place it into a preheated oven at a 375 or within 375 or 400 degrees, depending on the oven that is being used and allowed to bake. I will put the correct uh, measurement time and everything in the description box below. So here is the focaccia bread all done and it's nice and golden brown i did actually left it in a little bit longer so the onion sort of burn but that's okay so i did allow it to cool and now i have sliced it so you can see and it's really nice and fluffy you can see the texture right there and as i said it's the perfect addition to a wonderful uh, mother's day breakfast for the moms in your life i really do hope that you did enjoy today's video don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, share the video. We really do appreciate when you comment and when you share, and also when you subscribe and like. So do these things for us. It really does help our channel. And I really do hope that you will try it and also send it to us so we can post it on our social media platform. Until the next time, see you in my next video. Bye-bye.